Section 20, Pressurized Equipment and Systems. Hydrostatic testing, tests of strength and leak resistance of a vessel, pipe, or other hollow equipment by internal pressurization with a test liquid, usually water. Safe clearance procedure, written procedure that identifies the steps to be taken for the implementation of proper controls of the known and potential hazards associated with a particular operation, piece of equipment, tool, or system. Whip check, a cable-like device used on pressurized hoses that prevents serious injury due to hose or coupling failure and may also minimize damage to equipment may also be referred to as a safety lashing. Safety lashing, a rope, cord, chain, or other suitable material, flexible lacing that is used to fasten two objects together securely and thus rendering the objects safe. Inspections and tests. Pressurized equipment and systems shall be inspected and performance tested before being placed in service and after any repair or modification. Unless state or local codes specify more frequent inspection, temporary or portable pressurized equipment and systems shall be inspected at intervals of not more than six months and permanent installations shall be inspected at least annually. Inspections of pressure vessels prior to being placed in service shall be in accordance with the ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code. Unless otherwise specified by state or local codes, hydrostatic testing of in-service unfired pressure vessels shall be performed after any repairs or modifications that may affect the integrity of the system or its ability to maintain stored pressure as determined by the qualified inspector and in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations and or a qualified inspector's recommendations after consultation with the manufacturer, which may include when vessels are installed, when vessels are placed in service after layup, every three years starting at the time of installation, if the vessel shows any rust or other deterioration, and or when conditions found during inspections warrant tests. Records of the inspections and tests shall be available for review on request. A certificate shall be posted and maintained near the vessel controls prior to operation of the equipment. Tests for structural integrity or leaks using pressurized gases such as air are prohibited except for testing of bulk petroleum, oil, and lubricant POL storage tanks under API standards or testing when permitted by all applicable manufacturer specifications or when specified by an applicable code. General, any pressurized equipment or system found to be in an unsafe operating condition shall be tagged unsafe pressurized system, do not use at the controls and its use shall be prohibited until the unsafe conditions have been corrected. Repairs or adjustments to equipment or systems under pressure require a written safe clearance procedure. The discharge from safety valves, relief valves, and blow-offs shall be located so that it is not a hazard to personnel. A pressure gauge shall be provided on all pressurized equipment and systems and shall be in good operational condition. Connections with high-pressure hoses must be secured with a safety lashing or whip check. Safety lashings shall consist of two metal hose clamps connected by a flexible lacing. The metal hose clamps shall be attached to the hose ends separate from the quick makeup connection. Flexible lacing shall be suitably strong cables, chains, or wires. Wires or pins through the quick makeup connection are not acceptable for use as safety lashing. Compressed air and gas system. Air receivers shall be constructed in accordance with the ASME code for unfired pressure vessels. All safety valves used shall be constructed, installed, tested, and maintained in accordance with the ASME code for unfired pressure vessels. 
air hose, pipes, valves, filters, and other fittings shall be pressure rated by the manufacturer and this pressure shall not be exceeded. Defective hose shall be removed from service. The use of compressed air for blowing dirt from hands, face, or clothing is prohibited. Provisions shall be made in compressed air and gas systems for expansion and contraction and to counteract pulsation and vibration. Piping shall be equipped with traps or other means for removing liquid from the lines. Hose and hose connections used for connecting compressed air to utilization equipment shall be designed for the pressure and service to which they are subjected and utilized in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. Boiler and Related Systems Provisions of the ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code shall apply in the construction, operation, maintenance, and inspection of steam boilers and pressure vessels. Inspections shall be made to assure that all safety devices affecting operation of the firing equipment are installed in such a location that they cannot be isolated from the heat source by the closing of a valve. Boilers that have undergone major structural repairs or that have been relocated during the 12 calendar months for which the certification has been made shall be reinspected and a new certificate posted before being put into operation. Boiler and Related Systems All boilers shall be equipped with water columns, gauge glass, and tricocks approved by a nationally recognized testing laboratory. Gauge glasses and water columns shall be guarded. When shutoffs are used on the connections to a water column, they shall be of an approved locking or sealing type. Compressed gas systems. Compressed gas cylinders shall be visually inspected in accordance with 49 CFR 171 through 179, CGA, C6, and CGA, C8. Cylinders shall be stored in accordance with section 20.D.03, unless it is reasonably anticipated that the gas will be drawn from the cylinders within 24 hours and thus considered in service. Smoking shall be prohibited wherever cylinders are stored, handled, or used. Compressed gas cylinders transported by crane, hoist, or derrick shall be securely transported in cradles, nets, or skip pans, and never directly by slings, chains, or magnets, unless the cylinder's manufacturer's handling instructions specifically allows for handling cylinders otherwise. Cylinders shall be refilled only by qualified persons. Cylinders shall be handled in a manner that will not weaken or damage the cylinder or valve. If the movement can be accomplished safely, leaking cylinders shall be moved to an isolated location out of doors, the valve shall be cracked, and the gas shall be allowed to escape slowly. Personnel and all sources of ignition shall be kept at least 100 feet away. Instrumentation should be used to assure protection of personnel from health and flammability hazards. The cylinder shall be tagged defective after the gas has escaped. Oxygen cylinders and fittings shall be kept away from oil or grease. Cylinders, cylinder valves, couplings, regulators, hose and apparatus shall be kept free from oil or greasy substance and shall not be handled with oily hands or gloves. Oxygen shall not be directed at oily surfaces, greasy cloths, or within a fuel oil or other storage tank or vessel. 